Hi, welcome to a part for you video tutorials. This video tutorial is on how to change your carbon brushes. Can be used in a Bosch, Filco, Neff, Miele and Siemens. Some early models of Hoover. CSEP motors, ZEM and FHP motors are all compatible. Right, we've removed the motor on this machine. You can see how to remove the motor on other videos on our site. The first thing we need to do is show you where the brushes are held within the motor. One on this side, one on this side. There's two wires attached to the brush. These are spade connectors which fit on the end. These need to be removed. Some of these are held in place with retaining clips that need to be depressed slightly to get the clip off. Here's the spade connector. Now you can see with a very small screwdriver I'm actually able to suppress the clip. Take the wire out of the way. With a pair of pin nose pliers it needs to be moved up slightly to so you can see the location slot. That location slot needs to be lined up with the actual bracket and then the brush comes out. Now with these brushes here you can see they're very worn compared to the original length of the new ones. Now we'll do the other side. Always useful to remember the angle of the brush which I'll go into shortly the way that it comes out of the holder. Again, just suppressing the clip. And out it comes. Right, here we are with the diagram of the motor. You can see the way the brushes fit onto the commutator at the end of the motor. This is where I was talking about the angle of the brush. The angle of the brush must sit onto the commutator correctly. And again, you can see the length of the brushes here. One was very black on the end, not shiny. This is a clear indication that the brushes had worn beyond their acceptable level. Zoom in for you. This can be quite a, f a fiddly job. Uh, it's very hard to show you when the item is so small and my hands are getting in the way of the camera. But I will do my best to... Now, the end of the brush here must fit into a clip. You can just see it at the top there. Again, lining up the slot and bringing the brush down. This actually stops it popping out. Just show you again. And I'll do it one more time with the brush all the way out. Again, remembering to get that spring nicely compact in behind the brush. Slotting the clip into the top. Lining up the location lug and then moving it down slightly into its locked position. There we go. Now just attach the wire. Do the same with the other side. Once you've done this, do the other side and then check the motor that the brushes are fitting correctly onto the armature and then refit the motor. Thank you very much indeed for watching this video. Remember to shop at a part for you as that's what keeps us going and able to make these videos for you. Thanks very much for watching again.